What's going on? So I made a bit of progress since the last time you saw the car. I got a new radiator. This is a CSF Performance radiator with a spell electric fan and a shroud. The install was pretty easy, nothing special there. It goes in the OEM location with all the OEM hoses, even the OEM reservoir. I want to make some custom brackets to get it in a place. I really like it right now. It's just kind of bolted and zip tied into place, but it's less than ideal in my opinion. It doesn't move anywhere. It's really, really stiff. I also got, it is Heat Shield Products. It is just a little heat cover. And it's not all the way on yet. I just threw it on for now. This has to go over and then you heat it up and it pretty much clamps that down. Yeah, front end's installed, headlights are good. I actually took it for a test drive and I'll throw that in right now. kind of me focusing on getting it done rather than recording so that's my bad I, i'd like to change it but with my phone being really messed up it's hard sometimes to pick it up and record i also got some new parts in and i'll show you them now and actually really cool thing about this is i am now technically sponsored by mishimoto i applied and i can throw a link down below they accept you pretty easily if you have a following it's a cool program um you get discounts and you got this i already opened it it's a swag bag it comes with the air freshener nothing out of the ordinary the stickers are nice i'm gonna throw them on my car that's what they want you to do um and then a lanyard so that's really cool and then i also got a discount and because i was already planning on ordering it i went ahead and ordered a 10 row oil cooler it's pretty thick i didn't want anything crazy big i think this is fine for my application for street driving i'm not sure where i want to put it it's actually the first time throwing it up next to the car i think really right nah, i wouldn't really fit there um yeah i'm just kind of mocking it up now i feel like somewhere around here or in front of the radiator in between um, there's not actually much space so it might come somewhere down here um, because once the intercooler is on, like I said, there's not going to be much, much. There's not going to be a lot of space, so. I have a lot of room to mess around with it, but finally came in. It was on back order, so it took about a month to get everything, but nothing crazy. Mishimoto kind of speaks for itself. The quality is okay. Um, it looks really good, and it has a warranty. That's all I care about. I also went ahead and ordered an upgraded math. I went ahead and got an OEM part. This is a Bosch math. It is an Audi B5 RS4 math, I believe. And then I also went ahead and ordered separately a clip. I didn't realize it didn't come with the wire, so I'm gonna go to a junkyard and uh, just cut any random math off. Or I'm gonna look to see, and I'm gonna check. I'm not really amazing with wiring, but I'm gonna see if I can de-pin this and just throw the pins into this um, to throw it in the math. But this is a three inch screw math and it pretty much has double the flow capabilities of the stock math. You can see the just difference in size alone. 
which is insane. So the only thing I'm going to have to figure out is this three inch hosing, which I do have to shorten because of the adapter plate is too small for this. So I have to figure that out. Uh, I'll probably just get some kind of adapter or something. I'm going to talk to some people who have done it before. So that's just a little update and things are moving around pretty well. I am going to finish installing the wastegate. I got the dump on and I actually have a game plan for the drain hose. You can see it there. I put it there to drive. I also put the feed back into the car. That is because that is because I wanted to drive it. But the drain, what I'm going to do is Tyler O. He has a different drain set up, but he gave me a great idea. What I'm going to do is off of the turbo, because there's not much room for the turbo anyway, I'm going to have the turbo obviously sit where it needs to go. Then I'm going to create have a hard line fab dog and that hard line is going to go from the turbo it's going to make a few like 60 40 degree turns to basically fit perfectly in between and there won't be any slack and uh, hopefully it won't have any issues with rubbing or with getting too hot because it's going to be something like aluminum and then it's, it's going to meet up to this and then i can pretty much use it just use this wonderful boost monkeys line making do with what I have I'm not too disappointed just because I have to go get the exhaust made as well but I can't run any boost until either is made which is not that big of a deal but pretty cool pretty cool super excited progress is moving along I'm just gonna button some more things up pretty much all the wiring is done is good there's only this stuff which two of these are for the secondary O2s. So they're not gonna be used. One is for a primary that I'm not gonna use. I'm not sure what this is. And that's pretty much that. Over here, there's a lot of just DESA stuff. Uh, one of the long wires over here goes down to the oil pan. I have to plug that in. Other than that, <clears throat> cooling system is bled. Everything's good. Everything's plugged in right there. Um, headlights are all good. Everything looks pretty sweet. It runs and drives actually really, really good. It's got, it doesn't break up or anything. It's just a little bit slow because it's running open loop, which is less than ideal. I haven't really been getting on it. I've been also letting the clutch break in, but everything feels good. It's an amazing feeling because I tore this car down. I've changed the engine, transmission, clutch, bushings. I did a manual swap, so shifter. I put all of the lines in, you know, I bled the clutch. I did everything and it actually runs and drives and I drove it to the gas station. That's what that video was to get some gas and you know, it, it made it without missing a beat. Seriously, the car has not disappointed me yet, which is awesome. Still gotta button some stuff up. Like I said, I have to take it to the fabricator. He had some time when I didn't. Uh, one more thing too, is I had to get a belt and I had to source this. I can throw the part number. It's really, really just like the perfect fit. So I deleted the power steering when you do that the tensioner pulley basically becomes useless. You can't pull it down to avoid tension because the belt is rooted differently. So you pretty much just have to really, really get it on there. And uh, it wasn't that hard. I just grabbed like three, four different belt sizes, figured out what I needed. So the power string is completely deleted there. I am going to block it off on the rack. You can see down there, I still have the bolts in there but I just want to get some hose, cover it up. It is lubed with grease. So even though it is a hydraulic rack, it is okay to run without fluid. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Just a little bit of an update. Cars come along great. And I hope you enjoyed. No, I'm doing this by hand, fuck it. Trying something new, going fishing. It's always good to get a break from cars. We are going fishing in a box fucking river. <laughs> Anyways, only recording because I wanted to update something. I didn't notice Boost Monkeys got back to me. They said that I could send back their line, exchange it for the exact one I need, same price. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the exhaust made first and then i'm gonna go ahead and send the line back and then get the proper one then i don't have to worry about making anything custom so 
just wanted to update it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.